Here we are again friends with more of your favourite reality show, Keeping Up With The Caspians. No video today unfortunately, so we're not going to be seeing Jeremy and that cheeky little smirk he gives us while talking about that pesky fog of war that they've yet to kill. And that sentence probably went right over your head if you haven't been following along so far with the Chronicles of Illyria. But I've got just the remedy for that. In this video description you're going to find a really well made video, it's got over a million views, called From Kickstarter to Core, and that's going to detail the entire 5 year span of development on this so called MMORPG project. Cliff notes here to hook you in and words for the algorithm, Kickstarter MMRPG, over $8 million of public money raised, only competent gameplay footage ever shown was pre-rendered test areas of an avatar walking around a small area, and after 4 years they showed the gameplay for the first time, and it looked like old school RuneScape but without the actual good game to go along with the paint.exe graphics. Right after that gameplay reveal he fired his whole staff, blamed Covid for lack of people donating money to keep the studio out of bankruptcy, took a PPP loan from the US government for $250,000, and as soon as the crowd he used to fund got upset and started getting lawyers involved, sending legal notices as well as beginning court filings, he started talking about this other game he was going to deliver soon, called Kingdoms of Illyria, which essentially looks like something two absolute novices threw together in Unity during a drunken weekend on a bet. Remember to leave a comment on this video because it does help with the algorithm, and if you're too shy to do that, just press the like button and subscribe instead, I'm worth it. Or you can do all three if you're an absolute madman. Now there is a lot of context that is missing from this story and it's too much to summarise really. Watch that 18 minute video and then go through that playlist linked below from start to finish and just witness the absolute glory that is this mess. So that brings me to today's video. Long overdue since I've had access to these screenshots now for well over a week, but we have more and more coming in daily. Essentially after the studio was shut down, Caspian closed all forms of public communication, Discord got deleted, forums got closed, Twitter stopped being replied to, YouTube comments got disabled, and the subreddit fell into ruin due to most people being against the studio, for the obvious reasons that they gave this company $8 million, and in turn opened this amazing gift box one day to reveal there was a cock inside of it. And unfortunately not even a good looking one, just a poor sad little cock. Now this cock of course is the gameplay footage we got to eventually see, the grand reveal was honestly funny to watch since it was what people had been waiting for since like 2018 for a single gameplay video, an update showing what they'd been working on and then if you cut over some meme music it could actually be mistaken for an April Fool's joke or something like that, it was really, really funny. Well since then Caspian's been kinda quiet but he's returned like The Undertaker to WWE Smackdown vs Raw just straight rising from the Shadow Realm, popping up into all these other Discord servers where the community is still so cuckolded that they still leave the front door open in case Caspian sneaks in to service their wife while they're hard at work raising the next round of seed funding for Kingdoms of Valyria 2, Electric Boogaloo. Obviously some people in these discords do not agree with this take and still see Caspian for what he is and have decided to leak all those screenshots to me and since they have been leaked and sent to me some of them publicly on Twitter, they've started kicking people from the discord server who they think might be the mole. Over 40 people have been kicked so far, so eventually they might get the person sending them to me, but little do they know, it's actually multiple people, good luck. Essentially in this we're going to go over the greatest hits of Caspian talking, including making it really clear that while growing up no one really taught him the saying, those in glass houses should not throw stones. Here you can see a user on the Discord making a joke about Caspian's new launcher he showed, which, let me just say, looks absolutely fantastic by the way, top of the notch. You can really see where those five years went. The user says, quote, 10 bucks, it'll be more functional for me than the RSI launcher ever was. Now, you need some context here. RSI is of course referring to Roberts Space Industries, the company made by Chris Roberts, the godfather of Star Citizen, which is of course the largest crowdfunding game ever, raising $375 million to date and still being in alpha with no release date in sight. And by saying that, I mean that the game is in alpha and there is no actual full release date scheduled, because I know some Star Citizen fans get upset when you say there's no release date due to the fact that you can actually play it. And of course the game has been playable at least in some capacity now for years and years. It obviously is not the shiny beacon for timely delivery, and I do not even know if it will ever release in the capacity people hope it will, since it has been bloated by scope creep so badly, and it is still likely quite far off being ready. But again, it is playable, and has been for some time. This is context you need to understand for the hilarity of Caspian's reply to this user's comment talking about that launcher. Caspian replies, quote, I mean it'll be a game, and of course he puts the word game in italics, the implication there being that Star Citizen is in fact not a game, whereas Chronicles of Valyria and subsequently this new project he's trying to shovel 
into the user base's mouth like slop to a pig are of course games much better than Star Citizen. He then follows this up by saying he shouldn't poke fun at RSI, they're making a game too, and then even says himself he shouldn't be throwing stones in his very, very fragile glass house. You're right mate, you should not, and yet not even a day after surfacing from your hidey hole of social media blackout, you are making jokes about projects that have delivered more than you ever will. There are some absolute gems in here. I'm of course referenced by some of the Discord users, specifically due to my videos which are the rare content you can post on those subreddits, and users enjoying the levity I bring to the situations. Poking a bit of fun, having a laugh at the feeble attempt at placation this project seems to be, I'm a very bad person, and my audience are sheeps for listening to me, me and my community are ruining the chances of this success for this company, and Caspian deserves better. Of course, leaving out the fact that the only time I ever made videos about Chronicles of Valeria, before the studio closed due to running out of money, and the video was essentially just me saying, the studio is about to run out of money, and the game's never going to release. Perhaps that one video from a then 10,000 or less subscriber YouTube channel was the final nail in the coffin, since of course after that, the studio did in fact run out of money and shut down, exactly like I said it would. If you've watched the subreddit over the last six or so months since Caspian started to post the video logs talking about delivering this new game, this Kingdoms of Valyria, which is essentially a kingdom management game like Banished or something like that, but apparently much more in depth because of course it is. You would see the shift every few months in how the subreddit is being moderated and the type of users posting. At first it was memes and jokes about the state of what had happened, people being unhappy due to their money being taken, and now it's moderators locking threads, deleting user posts, attempting to stop my videos from being posted, if they are posted, disabling comment sections. Well what I did not know is that behind the scenes there were still multiple Discord servers that operate. These servers have sections that are still active with the highest tiers of backers, literally still in their role playing like they own this land and they own their duchy and their counts and kings and things like that. The literal super fans of this project are still there, still thinking this is going great, everything's coming up good. It's kind of like that subplot in Game of Thrones where they are gaslighting the Targaryens for years about people raising secret toasts and waving Targaryen banners behind closed doors, except this is real, these people exist, which is crazy to me. But here you can see legendary Neurotoxin, one of the stalwart defenders of Caspian and the game that does not exist. He is also, hold on to your panties ladies, a subreddit moderator. He wants to work with the reddit mods, he wants to make anti-jerk rules and start mass slapping the quote, it's a scam goons in Kira mob. And here's Mal Vaughan, or however you say his name, who is another person who constantly makes posts about how good Chronicles of Lyria is doing, how the game is going to come out soon, and how amazing it is, and how we should all be supporting the development, or it's awful, and that he should be insta-banning the people that he disagrees with. If the PR team wants to work with us or give us guidance on reforming the Reddit page, we're certainly welcome to it. So you can expect going forward that the subreddit will be censored. It already has been a little bit to this stage, but it's going to get worse. That is some place where you will likely not want to go if you want a true account of ongoings with this absolute shambles of a project. Since the moderators want to work directly with Caspian to crack down on people talking about the game in a negative light. Apparently they've decided that we're going to become more negative as a community, we're going to make more negative videos, more negative comments, because Kingdoms of Lyria is getting good, and once it get, becomes the game they know it can be, we're just going to, out of spite, be really upset about it and be really negative uh, towards their community. Which of course is not happening, people are just having a laugh and it's fun. Now if you did catch that little nugget of gold there, I won't just tease the tip without giving you the juice. Yes, he did say PR team. Here is Caspian stating he has hired some folks to help manage the social media sides of things, to help with the inside COE production, and to help him respond to emails to the inside Chronicles of Valeria email list. They will also help him be the best version of himself when interacting with the community, which he only does behind closed doors in discords where they literally god worship this motherfucker. So Caspian is such an incompetent that he requires people that he has hired to help manage him interact with people who already think he's the best thing since sliced bread. Now bear in mind that this company has zero private funding, was apparently entirely out of money when they fired their entire roster of staff, and he has himself and four other individuals working on this game now, down from 20, only two of which are actual software engineers that write code, and he has somehow managed to hire a few people for PR reasons. Something about this stinks, and while yes it is likely that small sad little cock in the box, 
it is also this story. A few questions people should be asking here are, why is a studio with five employees, do you need multiple people to help you with PR when you don't even have public communications enabled and you only speak with people you elect to go and speak with privately? And also, when you literally have zero revenue stream and you have a game no one has ever played and another game that is the product of four years of missed deadlines and this one is still missing deadlines, you have no income, you have no game to play, you have no artists on payroll, and you've hired multiple people to deal with PR. That is either absolute rank incompetence or you are putting public relations to the top of your priority list instead of a game likely to assist with the court case or to assist in eventually opening some form of funding again, probably all of the above. Now he is asked at some point in these screenshots about how people can assist and if they can give him more money basically. Yes, people are really down that bad. They ask, how do you plan to get financially stable enough to deliver on these projects, donations or further incentives for donating? Remember, of course, that some of these people asking these questions donated for incentives as far back as June 1st, 2016, and have yet to be given any of them. Caspian responds that they cannot talk about ongoing lawsuits, and due to ongoing lawsuits, he can't talk about finances, for a similar reason. They do, however, have no plans for future rewards-based crowdfunding at Soulbound Studios. The primary motivator for the layoffs last year came about due to the decision to discontinue crowdfunding. So if slash when our current and future community members are given the opportunity to spend money again, it won't be on pledge packages or rewards. Now this is my final point on this, as I want to save some juice for another video. This is like 10% of the screenshots I've got so far, and it would take all day to go over them, but if you read that reply back, it is non-answers 101, and what he does not say tells you more than what he does say. Bear in mind, he is in fact gaslighting you here. He did not fire the employees due to not wanting to continue crowdfunding. He was crowdfunding still, merely hours before he shut down the studio and fired everyone. He knew they were out of money and still continued that crowdfunding. And as you can see from the dates posted on screen here, he was still crowdfunding the entire time. He was crowdfunding merely hours before he shut down. He closed the studio because he had delivered so little over such a long period of time that people stopped giving him money. They had no confidence in him anymore. He couldn't raise enough money to continue keeping the studio open. If he could, he would have still had money. You don't just close overnight. You don't just one night open your bank account and go, shit, we're out of money because this last crowdfunding funding event failed. If that is your business model, you're already fucked. He was running out of money because the confidence in the project was no longer there. It was months and months. You could see them scrambling with more crowdfunding ideas and selling more things like loot boxes for a game that doesn't exist to try and raise money because all the other things had failed before. People had just stopped giving him money. He didn't have a choice. This is a complete fabrication of events. Now, on top of that, they will no longer do reward-based crowdfunding. I would assume this is due to the understanding that if you tell people, you give me X money and I will give you Y things, you are then liable to deliver those things. He does not at any stage dismiss the idea of opening donations. And the way he words the last sentence is quite laughable. When the community is given the opportunity to spend money again, it's almost as if Caspian is reaching down from the heavens cock first and bestowing the peasants below the privilege to get pissed on. And the sad part of this whole story is that the people asking him these questions in this Discord see this happening and open their mouths to try and catch every last drop. This is going to be it for this one. Bear in mind, guys, I make these videos for fun, not because I hate or even dislike anyone involved. Don't harass anybody. Definitely don't do that. This is literally just a laugh. I wanted to flex a little bit of creative writing in here with a little bit of my comedic style. So try not to get too offended and let me know if you do appreciate this with a comment and a like so I can bang some more of these out like Caspian bangs out those Reddit moderators wives. Appreciate you all. Check out my links in the video description for social media, Discord, Twitch, Patreon, all those good things. Hopefully see you on the next one. Stay safe out there. We out. Peace.